Back in 2008, the community of Newstead held a summit to set the priorities for their local town. Some great ideas emerged, but then they had to be implemented. This is the story how they moved from ideas to outcomes and some of the secrets of their success. It started from the Newstead Summit in 2008. I went along with a whole lot of other Newstead people and we had a lot of ideas come up. We got together as a community to discuss, you know, what were the sorts of things that we thought were important in, you know, nurturing and, and supporting our community into the future. And we had 150 people turn up. The ideas developed by the community included new playground equipment, a community garden, a 50k speed limit in the town, an arts precinct at the railway station, and each project was driven by a working group. We're not super uh, hierarchical or, you know, we don't have lots of planning groups. It really just, you know, if something uh, is identified as a priority in the community and you've got a bunch of people with energy and enthusiasm, they make it happen. One of the things that really helped us is that we had an extraordinarily diverse range of skills among the people who lived here. People who could, for example, write. People who were social scientists and understood how group dynamics worked. People who um, taught, so they were very organised. People who were great cooks, who catered. Everyone has a skill and I guess we worked on that. Anyone who could do anything, bring along that skill. I guess I um, put my hand up fairly early to be involved because it was a bit of a passion of mine. Um, and um, I'm not too bad at writing um, submissions and um, looking around for funds. So uh, initially that was uh, a fair bit of the work and also just thinking about the logistics of how we garden and um, looking at governance and you know, issues around how we'd use the garden. They say that leaders are grown and I think small communities afford that opportunity than large places because you have to step up. If you want to see things change, you've got to step up and do that. This community has its fair share of really strong leaders. People who lead by example really, by showing that they want to do things and getting up and doing themselves and others learn from them, so it goes from there. One of the ideas came from the children about having a new pirate ship playground. It just sprang from there. I put my hand up, a few others put their hand up and we formed a working group. It worked well because we all had the same vision. We all wanted a better playground for the children. Leadership can be sort of exhibited in lots of different ways. And I think one of the tricks is that it, people are given the confidence to pursue projects that are important. They're not, barriers aren't put in their way. I didn't really see myself as a leader at the time. I just felt really passionate about the idea of making the playground a better playground and listening to what the children wanted. So it was about honouring their wish for a new playground. So I think along the way, those leadership skills develop, but you definitely don't need to see yourself as a leader to do that. You just need to have some time and some passion and energy. We just generally encouraged each other and where somebody needed, say, information about where to go or what to do, others would help. We had people from all age levels come and tell us what was really important to them right at the start. So that gave us a lot of focus as well. So I think calling on that legacy in the community and learning from history and People who've done this kind of work in small towns everywhere is really, really important. My advice to other communities wanting to build stronger engagement and leadership is to have faith in themselves. It's time for communities to take responsibility for themselves, for them to stand up. One of the things that you can do is do a skills audit. Bring your community together and ask people to write on a piece of paper what it is that they're good at, what their skills are. Have that as a resource. So when you need something specific, those are the people that you can call on. People love to be asked. It's no good having a garden that people don't feel that they can come and use and own and um, harvest from. Part of it was making sure that we actually got things in place, but also trying to get 
keep people involved um, through the process. Seek expert advice if you need it, to look at what other groups have done before and learn from them. So we didn't try and reinvent the wheel, we talked to experts and sought outside help and, and drew on ideas from community members. So don't see yourself in isolation. Focus on your project, keep it rolling along and have, be optimistic about it, uh, encourage each other. I think it's got to be fun. You've got to have patience and um, yeah, just be, be prepared for the, um, for the longer journey. And often it's good to step back and actually see what you've achieved because you're too busy you know, um, working away at it. When you have a good idea and a group of people that are really enthused um, and also the timing's right, it doesn't always happen that these things coincide at once in a community and that's what happened with the summit. I think the timing, the enthusiasm and the skills all came together. Um, and you know, you can achieve quite amazing things. You can't do things on your own, but you can certainly achieve really marvellous things if small groups of people can work together. And that's the key to small communities like Newstead.